A growing passion is made possible by the San Diego County Water Authority and its member agencies. For years, I've gathered the water out of my kitchen sink and used it out here in the garden. I figure I've already paid for it, so why not get another use out of it? For generations, that's what everyone did. They collected all of their household water and they used it in the garden. It's time we brought that back. Today, I'm taking water recycling to a new level by using the outflow from my washing machine to water my garden. Gray water is the wastewater generated by laundry, dishwashing, and by bathing. If I were building a new house, I could plumb all the sinks and tubs and the clothes washer for gray water. But since our house is about 40 years old, really the only option is to adapt the clothes washer with a three-way valve and hoses to the garden. My friend, gray water expert Greg Bullock, is doing the conversion for me. He's installing a really simple system that in my community does not require a permit. How's it going, Greg? Really good. Perfect timing. So let me show you. This is the hose that comes out of the washing machine. Mm -hmm. So that'll feed into our three-way valve here. And this is the only adjustment you ever have to make. So turn it off for the water to go into the sewer line, just mm -hmm. as it did normally. Or mm -hmm. we'll leave it on for that gray water to go out into the garden. Let me just point out another feature here uh, that's important to note. This is an anti-siphon or an air vent. And all it really does is break any kind of vacuum that might be created in the system. By doing that, it just ensures that any gray water that's pumped through here will flow freely uh, out into the garden. Let me show you what I've done outside. I see this is where you came out of the house, Greg, and then what did you do? This is where we transition now from the inside plumbing to the outside system, which is polyethylene tubing. This takes the gray water directly to the fruit trees. So once it comes outside to the landscape, we actually transition to a different kind of pipe. We use uh, polyethylene plastic, or PE, as it's commonly known. The main reason really is this is a greener product. It's a recyclable, fully recyclable plastic. Um, it's a lot less toxic. So we keep it one inch, which is important because that's consistent with the diameter of a typical washing machine hose. So it doesn't adjust the pressure or mess around and cause any complications. Basically, it'll, it'll channel the water out and then we divide it according to the landscape plan. So how does the water get down here? It's all gravity. Um, really, it's the initial force of the washing machine. The spinning cycle creates that push, that pump out of the water. And then from there, it's all downhill. You know, initially we've carved out a mulch basin. This is to hold the water. And then in the middle of this is a soil shield or it's a valve box. These are typically used in uh, landscaping projects to uh, protect the equipment. We've repurposed this. Uh, to serve as uh, an, uh, an emitter for the grey water. And basically underneath where I'm standing right now, if you envision there's this tubing, it's kind of buried under the soil and it's staked down and it gets emitted two inches beneath the soil surface. And that's really important because that's what the code requires. This box does that duty. It, it keeps it above the soil surface so it doesn't block and also keeps it uh, two inches beneath the soil level so it doesn't uh, cause any health risk. And what about the mulch? Why is there mulch around it? So mulch is important. It, it, in a way, it acts as a sponge uh, for our grey water system. The water can flood this basin and, and really be absorbed by the dry matter uh, in the wood chips here and, and other debris that you can see. And really kind of helps disperse the water around the feeder roots of the tree and holds it there for a good amount of time and releases it slowly into the soil to basically uh, add nutrients that the tree needs to grow. There are a few things you need to know about gray water. California simplified their code to allow systems like this back in about 2009. Still, you need to check your local plumbing codes to see best practices and just to make sure you don't need a permit. Use only liquid biodegradable soaps free of sodium and boron. These soaps break down in the soil and they don't hurt your plants. Remember that gray water isn't treated, so you don't want it on any kind of vegetable like potatoes or lettuce that grow in or on the ground. But it's perfectly fine for ornamentals and for fruiting trees and vines and shrubs. This system irrigates my fruit trees, which are some of the thirstier trees in my garden. I'm hoping I don't have to run the irrigation at all now. I'm saving water, I'm saving money, 
and I'm helping protect the environment. If you need to wash your laundry with bleach or disinfectant, or if you're washing soiled diapers or cleaning rags, anything that has too many contaminants, turn the three-way valve to send the water from your washer to the sewer rather than to the garden.